Hey guys, this is Game of Cow playing Mario Superstar Roadman Duda Face. I don't know, it's um, it's the ROM hacker of Mario 64, and I'm gonna punch the butterfly. Punch, punch, punch. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. I just. Yeah, whatever. Let's just go in the vase because, the, yeah, I mentioned it's kind of suspicious last time. It's actually kind of hard to get in the bleating vase when you can't really see what's going on. But, uh, yeah. That's that's gonna happen. So let's just take a minute and whatever length of time to actually just get in the goddamn freaking vase because the camera is not cooperating in the slightest and that's really dumb. Whatever. World 2 is inside this vase and we have, yeah, Skytown Fort USA. I guess. It's not even a fort, it's a resort. But it looks like a bloody fort, so, you know. Yeah, I've been reliably informed that the USA is not in fact Skytown, but uh, I'm gonna call it that anyway, so whatever. Skyline Resort, yeah, place to relax. Unfortunately, the trouble has been, yeah, the Womp King has just showed up and is threatening to take over everywhere. No! We must defeat the evil that is the Womp King. Because, yeah. Um, this place is kind of annoying because it's all over bottomless pits and stuff and there's a lot of platforming that's rather tricky, especially when you don't have your uh, controller with an analog stick type of deal. Uh, there's also piranha plants, which is something, but a good old slide kick will take care of them pretty quick. So yeah, that, that's, that's good. Over there is a lot of stuff, but it's not stuff that we need to care about right now because there's nothing over there that we need. What we need is to go up here, because up here is a fly guy, but also a windmill. And that windmill is completely unrelated. However, there is a red coin there, in case you're interested in that. And fly guy, I see you coming up down there. You, sir, are a douche, but I'm just going to leave you alone right now. There is another one there. This is the Fly Guy Zone, I suppose. And there's also a block up there, which I'm assuming has a star. But I kind of can't get it right now because those green blocks, kind of transparent and kind of essential for getting up there. So unfortunately, I can't do that yet. It's one thing that looks cool. Those are the blocks for the metal cap. But uh, we don't exactly have access to metal cap stuff just now. It's kind of interesting that you know, that the, this game, this hack actually decides it's going to use the blocks for, you know, the Switch Palaces for more than just the actual caps, which is quite good. Anyway, there is actually a thing up there. If you don't break that block, you are able to get uh, more coins by going up there. I'm not sure how many it was in there. I can't remember, but um, you can, I think also get it this way, but it's obviously a lot harder to get it doing that. You can probably long jump to it actually from the top, so that's a much easier way of doing it, which is less likely to get you killed. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there was about 10 coins in that block. So it's maybe worth getting if you're looking for coins or something, I don't know. The music, by the way, is from uh, Super Mario RPG as well, that much I know, but I don't know exactly which, um, what the town was called because I'm not a huge nut on Super Mario RPG. I have played it and I completed it, so it's pretty cool, but, um, like, I don't really know that much for it, and I'm just messing around here. This is not doing anything constructive. I'm not even going for the 100 coins anyway, so why I'm even doing that, I don't know. Yeah, this th that bit over there was the place that I said to ignore just now, because, yeah, you can see the platforms going all the way around. There's stuff down there, the blue coin and whatnot, but we don't need to care about that just now, because what we're after is actually up here. So, just quickly go ahead and uh, jump up, and there is Mr. The Womp King. Yes, Mr. The is always that way. Yes, defeated the old Womp King, whatever, fit for whatever stuff, boo, who cares. So yeah, basically, this guy is like the old Womp King, exactly the same general style, except he is much, much, much faster. The Womps in general are much faster in this game, and that's really freaking annoying for actually killing them, which is the hard part. 
So yeah, this this is pretty much what you've got to do for it. You've got to just lure him round and you can't even get away with a cartwheel jump because that just completely fails. You've got to actually do a normal jump for it and I'm on top of the world. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Mr. Wantman? Probably not very good and that's why you've just squashed me because yeah, I tried to grab pan from the top for some reason. Don't know why I did that. Uh, do not fall down the holes. I'm not quite sure exactly how many of those are instant death, but I'm pretty sure all of them are. But yeah, step on like nothing. Yeah, da -da -da. when the rest arrive. Oh no, there's more of you? Well, yeah, he is just the start of the wave of terror in this place, I guess. And, well, he did give us a star, so that's a good beginning. There's a red coin there, cheeky bastards. Notice that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the first star, so let's go in and get the second star, which is going to be climbing the windmill. The windmill is what i shown before, but we're going to have to go up there again anyway. Yeah, good to see the defeat of the Wong King, genuine thanks, it's not enough because some of the troops have come in. Well, now it's not as bad because their king is gone. You take away the leader and they just decide to, well, come in and take revenge. But also they are not as threatening because they don't have leadership skills. That is just the way it goes. Not necessarily because there might be a new king for that, but they are not as big and therefore they must be easily tamed. I don't know, a bomb is probably a good weapon of choice against a Womp because a Womp is obviously made of concrete and concrete would get exploded pretty quickly. I mean, just ask every freaking warfare expert ever and they'll tell you all that, so, you know. And over here is a Womp, of course, like we've been saying. And, uh, yeah, they are extremely quick in this game, as I've mentioned. So, you can still get coins off them, it's a lot harder to get the coins off them. But uh, you can do it if you do it one at a time. This would be a lot easier if I didn't have to um, didn't have to go all or nothing in my movement at the moment. That's the biggest sort of problem I'm having right now is that I can't just turn around very quickly. I've got to um, if I turn around, it's got to be the cartwheel, which is nice, but not for the only way you can turn around. Anywho. You do not necessarily need Mr. The Fly, uh, Mr. Fly Guy over here, but uh, if you can take him up, then it's always useful. Of course, I couldn't because I was kind of silly, I don't know. Did a coin phase through here? I'm trying to work out where that other coin could have gone. There was supposed to be three coins come out of those guys, but no, not this time. But yeah, you could you could have probably seen last, um, last star that there was a thing up there. So we've got to go up. And that's a little bit easier said than done because you've got to do like three wall kicks to get up there. And you can't just go at the side because, yeah. But um, once you are up, it's not too bad if the camera would decide to behave. And yeah, you can go along here. The red coin is surprisingly tricky to get actually, but uh, a jump kick would usually do. And I would like to be slightly off the wall so I can bat flip up there. I guess that's not gonna happen after all. Okay, so, you know, um, good fact to know, you cannot uh, wall bat flip up there. Yes, wall backflip. That's the exact skill you were trying to use there, Cal. Fantastic. No, you, you um, apparently you can't bat flip up there, so whatever. Supposedly, you can't just jump up there either, so, hmm, what am I supposed to... Uh, how did I get up there last time I did this? I cannot remember. Uh, a long jump would probably do it, but it would be kind of hard to do, I suppose. Maybe I can long jump from here, though. Like, if I can get the camera set right, then I could probably, yeah, just long jump from here. Yeah, that was, like, really simple. And then there's a, um, there's a purple switch, which creates blocks. Uh, camera! Yep, you get blocks that go up, and that's not where we're going to end up going. No, there are there are definitely blocks there, but it's tricky when the camera doesn't want to behave, you know? It's like, where's the side of the block, and it just kind of fails. So, oh wow, well, I guess we're going to get back up there. It's not exactly a long level, so it's not going to be that big a deal to get back there. But still, it's annoying to have died in that sort of fashion. Oh well. 
Oh, do you fly guy, you jackass. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. Freaking fly guys, they are like the worst thing ever. They're not really, but they're definitely a pain in the ass. So, not cool, man. Not cool. No, oh, that's not really cool either, but it's not as bad. You! Die! Come on, just... Oh, fuck. Whatever. I don't really care so long as it doesn't get in the way. That's the um, that's the main thing, except he can face through platforms, so, or through thick walls. I don't know. He's a freaking um, ninja escapist artist or something, and I'm having trouble turning around here because of my controller. Uh, no, that did not work. <laughs> that did not work. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, so, this is not that hard. We can totally make it up here. Like that. Easiest thing ever, what the hell. Now we just need to be able to turn around and long jump. See, easy. Then the purple switch, which lets you go here. I wish the camera would turn around properly because I can't really friggin' see where I'm going. And yeah, just quickly make it up because those will disappear and there is your second star. You can get a good view of the world from up here as well, and just as a very quick thing, you cannot actually long jump over to that star. That star is not accessible by that means, so you do need the green blocks to get that one. However, you don't need them to get this, which is always good. And I think the next star is actually supposed to be getting that green one. So that's kind of annoying, but I know I can get another star in here, so I'm gonna do that just now. Yeah, the flying stepping stones, as far as I'm aware, that is the, the star with the green blocks. I haven't picked this star up yet myself, so I don't know for sure, but it's the one which I'm anticipating as that. So, I can't really get that one just now, so what I'm gonna do instead is when I get myself lined up, I'm going to try and triple jump over there. I don't think you need to triple, but it's just easier. Also, yeah, when you're near Piranha Plants, that's the music that comes up this time. Awesome touch. Right, so... Nope, not gonna get the jump off, because apparently Mario does not know how to jump for a third time in a row. Yeah, I I don't know. It's it's kind of annoying to be honest, but it's something we will have to learn to deal with is to get the timings of everything right. Hopefully when I go back down to Birmingham and get my other controller set up, this is going to be a lot easier. But for just now, we're kind of having to put up with what we've got. Now here you can't really backflip up there. It's a bit too far away for that. So just time your double jumps and get up there as safe as you can, pretty much. And there is nothing up that tree, there is not really any use in using said tree, so that's fine. Then you, yep, so glad the big brood is gone, never see the sunlight again, but, that, but that, that doesn't make sense because he wasn't blocking the sun. Ah, you're, you're, you're silly, Mr. Bobon Man. Anyway, you can use this tree here in order to get a coin. Which is good, you know, red coins. I'm not I'm not getting the red coins just now because I don't know if I can get them all, but uh, there's obviously one there. The vanish block is needed for a thing down there. You can see you can go through that fence with a vanish gap block, but uh, you can't go through when you don't have one. There's another red coin down there and another bomb over here, so talk to him. So peaceful just to sit down and watch them. Yes, it is indeed, except you are kind of useless to talking, but whatever. In here is nothing at all. There was a tree over the other side that I never showed, which actually has a uh, life in it. Uh, see if I can... Can I see it from here? I think it's that one that just... No, 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 that's from where I was. No, it would be that one over there has a life in it, but I never bothered getting that, so oh well. Uh, red coin over here, which is fine. There's some yellow coins there, so there's another five coins. You are a dick. But, um, yeah, that was that was close. Maybe there's only two coins come out of a fly guy. I couldn't even say at this point. I, I don't pay attention to that. But, uh, yeah, a quick long jump over here will get us, yeah, to this area. 
This area is annoying because you need to long jump the first one and then normal jump the second. And there's a star in there. That is the star which I'm going to be looking to get. But it's not the easiest one to get hold of because you need to do a bit of trickery for it. There's a purple switch basically that you need to hit to open the door and that's something we'll be doing pretty soon. But first off there's a blue switch and the blue switch will get you some coins. Just long jump across and there we go, that is all the coins picked up from that, which is pretty good. It's not the easiest of things to do, but I think none of the blue coins are particularly easy in this game, so, you know. But anyways, you've seen the quick uh, wall kick trickery jump up here will get you more stuff. You know, there's, co there's coins over here, which is always good. I'm not sure if there's anything on the rooftops, but there is a lack to. Lack to. You are going to die because I'm going to jump in your face and uh, that's that's going to kill you. Because you know Mario's fist is made of steel and that, uh, yeah, that really helps. So, yeah, there is a thing up there. You've got you've to get the red coin up there. How would you... Can you honestly triple jump up there? Pretty sure you can. You've just got to be pretty close to the, um, to the edge up here. That's... Yeah, that is, that is totally doable. Because you can't just cartwheel it because you can't climb up. And the cartwheel is the highest other jump that you've got. So you've got to triple jump it. It's not that straightforward to do. But, you know, there there is your other coin if you want it. So I'm not, I'm not going to bother just now doing any more than that. Because we're not going for that particular star. We are going for the star which is done. Yes, yeah, it's the easiest thing ever. What the hell? But, um... Yeah, we are going for the star which is unlocked by this purple switch, and that is straight down here. And that kind of hurt. But never mind, we have got the star, that is the important thing, and I think this is star number four, if I remember rightly. I'm not entirely sure, but finding the purple switch is the name of the star. It's a bit misleading because there's more than one purple switch in that one, but whatever. And uh, yes, that is star number four. So with that done, uh, three stars is going to be good enough, I think. We'll just go ahead and go back towards the next world. So this has been Game of Cow playing Super Mario Star Road. And join me next time when we go into something I've not actually explored very much, which is World 3. So yeah, see you for that.